Okay, so I am here showing you how to create a custom booking proposal in Sprout Studio. Now this uh, proposal is going to be one that you're only custom building for like one bride. So we're not gonna create a template for it. So what I have done is I have gone into the services page um, in the price list and I created a custom or a line that just says custom wedding with zero dollars attached to it. I saved it and then I went back into the packages, created a package for custom wedding proposal with the zero dollar. I went ahead and added a picture to it so it would be pretty. And then I created a custom wedding proposal template all with zero dollars. So then we have a foundation that we can create or that we can create a package from. So I am in this client um, or in this lead in my uh, in my clients um, Sprout Studio. So we're going to click on booking proposal. Now this is a lead, not a shoot because they're not booked yet. So what we're going to do is go down and we're going to apply a template to start with and we're going to click on custom wedding package and we're going to apply it and we're going to apply the template and overwrite now in this template the only thing i've done so far is add this custom wedding package and then i went ahead and added her payment or her wedding contract and then let's go ahead right now before i forget and we're going to add in her wedding payment schedule so it has her retainer in there and then has a, the schedule that she likes so what we're going to do now we have up here at the start we're going to click on these three dots so then we can build this package we're going to click on edit and now we're just going to put on here just so this client doesn't see custom wedding package we're just going to put in wedding package and now we're going to add in the different service items so our first thing that's a part of this package is we're going to have eight hours coverage now the way you make sure that everything can be added in here is that everything that's included in this wedding package has to be listed as a service item in your price list so as long as it's a service item it will work so then we're going to add in a i don't know if she has this list or if i have okay so we're going to add in a 12 by 12 legacy album then we're going to add in a one year anniversary session. Da, 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 da. Where is it? I'm probably blind. Okay, here we go. Wedding, our anniversary session. And then we're going to add in travel fees. Oh, and we have to add in two photographers. So we're going to add in two photographers so that should be back up here and then just for the sake of having it be pretty we're going to go ahead and add in um, the online gallery and uh, one year access to the gallery just so it looks pretty um, and then the price of this package is going to be 38.50 whoops not $38,000 $38.50 okay so it looks like that did not change so okay so what we're going to do here is we're just going to change the price of it here <coughs> okay why is this not wanting to scroll down there we go so the new price is going to be $38.50 and then we're going to scroll down and we're going to set it so now our package is correct and then we're going to make sure our package is taxable because this client is in a state where services are taxable and then we do have our pretty image here and so we're going to save it and now we can see that our contract is already added um, the payment schedule is already added and now one thing i like to do for all of my booking proposals and this is not a template um, but I make sure to do this in all my templates so we're going to click on that setting and go over here to experience and make sure they have the portal link um, so they can create their portal as soon as they are booked and then I have a wedding workflow attached to this client now I have not completed the wedding workflow so I think I'm going to go ahead and X that so it doesn't start and we can um, add that if we need to so then 
Um, for the sake of this video, I'm going to unpublish this um, in just a second so um, it doesn't go ahead and send to this client, but I'm going to go ahead and show you what that looks like. So we can see here who this is for, and then we can see here the pretty package. It has all the things included. And then here is our payment schedule and when the payments are due. So that is how you create a custom looking proposal.